Hey, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com and we're going to take a look at our new HTML list widget. So let's install it first and then we'll show you how to use it. So this is the package you get here. We're going to open that up. Inside you'll find a PDF and you'll find the MuseLib library file. It's as simple as double clicking and that will install and we can see here we have our MuseGrid HTML lists installed. So if we want to place some lists on here we have two types of lists we have the unordered list which is a bullet list and we have the ordered list which is a numbered or lettered list let's first of all put our enabler widget and this is what it's going to actually make the lists work and we can see that we have options here to change the bullet type and we can change the number type we can also switch on a uh, use an image bullet here already got a link to an image bullet but you can use your own bullet there so if you don't want to use the the basic ones you can use your own bullet list there so once we have that in place we then have some sample lists for you and you just choose the one you want so we're going to choose an unordered list here and we're going to put this in place what we're going to do as well is we're just going to bring it in a bit because the list will run down the outside here um, and you can't preview this until you actually preview the page so we'll just move that in and then we're going to put um, an ordered list here as well we'll set that up to be the same so those are both on the page there and then we'll take a look at the preview so we can see in this preview now we have our two lists here our unordered list which has got the bullet points and our ordered list that has the numbers Let's go back to design view and add a few more list items. I'm going to remove this first and let's just add a few more list items. It's as simple as hitting the return key and this is a new item. And then if we go back to our preview, we can see here that we have a new bulleted item. So it's very simple and straightforward to use. In design view now we'll just take a look at some of the things that we can do using the Muse tools to modify the way this looks. So with our text tool I can just use any font I want to change the look and feel. I can change the spacing in between each item and I can do various other options. I can change its size, I can change the color, pretty much anything you want to do with text I can do. When you look at, at the actual paragraph styles, you'll see that we have a paragraph style applied here for ordered lists and unordered lists. Now, the one caveat with this is you don't want to redefine this. If you make these modifications here, do not redefine them, just have them as they are. Because these two styles are what used by the widget here to ensure that the um, bullets the lists work correctly so don't redefine them so you can modify in here just don't redefine the list and that's it so um, you are now able to add bullets and numbered lists to pages easily modify them and use all the text controls within Muse thanks for watching